Look at this, I have an intro now. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my new video. It will be another Inktober drawing in time lapse. And this time it was also one of the prompts. And the topic was collect. And as a crazy cat lady at heart, I decided to draw some cats. Um, yeah, sadly, I'm only a cat lady at heart. I don't have any actual cats. And here I started drawing and I started with the easiest part, of course, with my comfort zone stuff, the girl in the middle, who is like my dream persona, who has lots of cats and not like me, none at all. So it's actually the same as the last video. I use my Colorase red pencil. It's a scarlet red, I think. And I'm sketching away. And I tried to like leave enough space around the lady to put enough cats on the picture. And um, as you can see on the sketchbook on the right side, I tried to prepare a bit for this um, complicated artwork by studying some cats. And because I don't have one myself, which is sad, as I already mentioned, I just typed in cat in Google and started drawing everything I found there. So for this final illustration I was like a bit prepared and um, did not have to research new pictures of cats. By the way, I like to call it research when it's actually just me looking at photos of cute cats. <laughs> yeah, so um, finally the cat part, which took much longer than drawing the girl on the chair and yeah I just started piling on cats on this chair and around this chair and tried to make them a little different I tried to use variations more fat cats or skinnier cats chilled cats and a little bit more nervous cats I think like a uh, I could use even could have used even more variation in this, but for for the time I had, it's fine. Uh, the word cat will be used so much in this video actually, <laughs> but I love it. So cats, cats, cats. I continue drawing cats, and the easiest way to draw cats lying around is that you draw like a cushion or a sack, and then add a head to it, and then add some ears and a tail. But normally when cats are lying around, they they have this this pile form and shape. And if you want them to look extra soft, you just make them appear a little bit like liquid. <laughs> liquid cats. So piling on cats, 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 and even more cats. I realized I could even put a little cat under the chair. And... Since all cats turned a little fluffier, I added a skinny Siamese cat in the, in the back side. And of course she needs a cat on her lap. Cat, cat, cat. This video has a lot of cat. It's awesome. I think it's my favorite one. I never said cat so often. So, um, now I decided to make the chair she's sitting on look a little bit more aged because if you have that many cats, I think your apartment and your stuff is getting a lot of damage from them. Um, I remember it from the time that I had cats in my life. They really like destroying couches, so I put some traces of that on the chair. The one on top is even destroying it right now. Um, yeah, adding details, details, details. And now I'm starting to line it. And I'm using my all-time favorite pen, the Zebra Fuda pen. I think if I would ever end up on a deserted island with only one pen of my choice, it would be with this one. And it comes in different thicknesses, and this one is the fine one. I think it's called WF1. And you can get it online. It's pretty cheap, by the way, and it's like super awesome. I like it for drawing lines like the most because you can 
to pretty thick and pretty thin lines with it. And when I want to do some extra thin lines, I use my Touchy Color Manga School G pen. So, lining all the cats and think about their roundness and liquidness and try to use like the softest and the roundest lines. This is what, what makes this picture so enjoyable because it's like round lines all everywhere and of course i had to give her some cat accessories and i put uh she has this cat pantyhose which i also own <laughs> and pr probably a lot of people do and uh, yeah um as you can see i tried to use some hatching here and i use this uh, tout le jour um ballpoint pen for that it's a really nice and thin ballpoint pen which you can make it look almost like a pencil while hatching because it's so light but it dries completely waterproof so it's awesome and i thought it was some fancy french pen but then i found out that in the end it's also a japanese pen like all the pens i use and it's by the company marks so if you don't find the fancy French name, you can just search for Mark's ballpoint pen and uh, you will probably find it. But the fancy French name one comes in different uh, colors of the pen. The ink is always black, but the pen is in different fancy colors and I have a pink one, of course. So, lighting away. Um, I use my pencil pocket brush for the black areas because it's a bit thicker than the zebra one and try to add shadows while I line I, I try to indicate shadows a bit with line thickness so I put a bit thicker lines on the bottom and a bit thinner lines on top not completely consistent with that trying to be still um, more spontaneous about it but um, in the end it adds a little bit more weight if you add a bit thicker lines on the bottom because it indicates the shadows um yeah hmm cats 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 have i said cats already all my childhood I, our family always had cats so i'm kind of like a person who thinks that you always need to have a cat in your life but right now I work so much and I'm never home so it would be really selfish to have one so it's a really catless safe life as you can see I'm using the uh, ballpoint pen also for, for uh, different cat first uh, shades uh, as you saw this the Siamese cat I used it for hatching the face to add the dark areas on, on the fur and I will do it even more later on but first continuing the main lines of course a black cat must exist in this picture every time you draw a black cat with big ears everybody starts asking if it's a gg from kiki's delivery service <laughs> a little bit of shading using this ballpoint pen for that too it's a really nice pen really you should try it of course the, the destruction of the couch was a little bit of filling, spilling out and so on. Um, now we're raising a bit of the lines. Um, because it's a colored pencil and not a normal one, you can't erase them completely, but still like a little bit, because I want to continue with the hatching now and, and don't want to be distracted by the lines too much. Uh, here I put uh, the pattern on her um, sweater with some fine liner. I don't even know the brand, but I think anyone is fine. Oh, I found it. Wait a second. It's the a Pigma Micron 01. But 
it's not any special pen, it's just any pen more or less fine. So now the hatching and cat fur colors, so they are all, all look a little bit different. And I try to do the hatching in the direction that the fur is growing. So it accentuates a bit the shapes of the cats. Cats, cats, cats. <laughs> um, of course, striped cats. When you Google cats, most of the ones coming up are striped ones. So I guess the ratio of striped cats versus all other cats is pretty high. So I did a, uh, several of them in this picture. Yeah, and as you can see, I'm trying to emphasize the roundness of the cats with uh, the hatching I'm doing. So it doesn't look too flat. Oh yeah, I dreamed that it, I would be drawing as fast as it looks in this video, but it's a time lapse. <laughs> if you didn't realize it yet, please consider. It's like 10 times faster than I drew it in the original. It took, I think, about two or three hours for the whole drawing. For the gray cat, I, I used a simple straight hatching first and then added some shadows, which were like more uh, emphasizing the shape. And then I realized that the chair looked a bit boring, so I, I also added a, a slight pattern to it by just doing hatching. I first drew the stripes on with the pencil and then just hatched them lightly, like really lightly. I thought she would be cuter with freckles, so I drew them on. And this one, um, the white pen I'm using, it's the um, 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 Mitsubishi Signo pen in white. And it's a really good one. So I use it for small corrections and adding on white details. And now I'm putting a black background on top of it with the pen till pocket brush and now something tragic will happen because while doing this my um, my camcorder went out of space so it's over you can see the end uh, in the end I took a huge as black marker and filled in the whole black area and then I took some white gouache to do the splashes on top and then I took this Signo pen and put some cat splashes between the splashes. And that's actually it. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the sudden end, but the most interesting parts were in it anyways. And I hope you enjoyed it. And you can buy this print on my Redbubble store. Please visit it. Thank you.